you. Joining us now with more reaction, Florida Congressman Ron DeSantis, NRA TV contributor, former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino. Uh, I agree this with with Greg Jarrett, David Schoen, Joe DeGeneva. Congressman, I agree with Alan Dershowitz. This is a perjury trap. This is juvenile. The idea that you're going to ask president what was in your mind is an absurdity. And it shows ju just how far this has gone from so-called collusion with Russia. Well, you're right, Sean. Very few of the, of the bullets involved the campaign. It was mostly during the transition and then during his presidency. So you have a situation where Robert Mueller... He's a DOJ employee, effectively, so he's an inferior officer in the executive branch. What gives him the right to conduct oversight over basic presidential decisions that have nothing to do with any type of criminal activity? What was in your mind when you talked about Sessions resigning or this or that? He does not have a right to subpoena the president for that. I don't think the president uh, should submit to those questions. And I agree with uh, Alan Dershowitz, and I agree with you, Sean. I think, really, they're not trying to investigate a crime. They're trying to manufacture a process crime. Yeah. Uh, Dan Bongino, no good lawyer in the right mind at this point, knowing what we know, knowing the abusively biased team, like Weissman and company that was appointed by Mueller, would any lawyer ever let this president go before this man at all? And the idea, a grant, the threats, He's threatening the president early in the process when they handed over and cooperated and never exerted executive privilege. Are you kidding me? You know, Sean, do you see the danger in this? They yeah. are not investigating a crime here. They're investigating Donald Trump. There's a difference. The, you know, what you do is, I was a former federal agent. What you do is you investigate a crime and you find people. You don't find people and then go find the crime. I read the questions, and Sean, these questions are very strategic. Notice how they're left open-ended. Now, Ron's a lawyer. He can tell you this, too. This is what you do when you interview people of as a course. federal agent. You ask open-ended questions. No yes or no them questions. To talk Let to them trap chat. them in a perjury trap. Exactly. And, Bingo. And then Greg pointed this out, Congress. If there's one thing that deviates and you're on a witch hunt, there's no prosecutorial discretion. The only way it gets that is Hillary Clinton. She gets a, she gets a rigged investigation. The Hillary standard is not going to apply for Donald Trump with Robert Mueller and his merry band of Democratic donors and, and people that withhold exculpatory evidence like Andrew Weissman. No, it's, he's not going to, he will be under oath, unlike Hillary. Uh, he won't have a friend interviewing him like Hillary had. I mean, it, it, the double standard is so flagrant here. Do we have equal justice under the law, Congressman? Do we have equal application under the law or not in this well, just country? Think, and just think about just the fact that these questions are being generated. Was there a copious number of questions that were asked of Hillary in her FBI interview? That was a perfunctory thing. They had already decided not to bring charges. Comey wrote the memo two months before uh, they even interviewed her. So the, the lack of zealousness there and then the overzealousness here, um, I think, is very, very striking. I mean, look, and it should be concerning to all of us. That's one of the biggest problems with this investigation is they've been trying to nail anything they can to the wall. And, of course, you and I and Dan, we all watched the Hillary case where they didn't go after where Bleach Bit. They didn't Jeff go Sessions. after uh, Huma. They and, didn't go and, after any of it. And, and how does Rod Rosenstein be one of the one person that signs off <laughs> on a dossier mandated application to a FISA court when they are lying to the FISA judges, how does he not recuse himself? Where's Jeff Sessions saying, you never should have been in this. Get out. Sean, Rod, Rod Rosenstein was also the United States attorney in Maryland on the Uranium One precursor case, the 10X case. This guy is so conflicted. How he hasn't recused himself or resigned at this point is amazing. He, he implicated himself tonight. Against Carter Page. When he Carter said, Page. oh, serious consequences if there's false information in a FISA application. Well, he so, signed one that was not verified or corroborated and Hillary paid for, and they never told the judge. Now, he needs to get off this case like yesterday. All right. By and the Sessions, way, full disclosure, I do want Ron DeSantis to win and be the next governor. Unless you don't want me to endorse you, then I will take it back.